guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So, <clears throat> I've not talked all day. Uh, so for today's video, I'm trying out a new product that I've never tried out, period. So this will be a legit first impression. So the other day when I was at Ulta, I was walking through the drugstore section and I came across Makeup Revolution. Now I've heard a lot of things about Makeup Revolutions. I know, I believe they are based out in London, but I've never tried anything from their brand, but I've always heard such wonderful things. So when I was just kind of browsing through stuff, I came across this palette that I thought was gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. It is the Sophie X Revolution palette. Um, I think I'm saying that right. I'm not entirely sure. It looks like Sophie... Sophie X. I'm not entirely sure, so please don't come for me for that, but I've never um, heard of this particular name, and so I hope I'm saying it right. But I came across this, and it is their 24 Ultra Professional Makeup Pigments. So whenever it says makeup pigments, it means that not all these shadows are actual shadows, they are pigments. And the reason why they do that is because um, it might be vegan free and if it's vegan free it has no carmine in it and carmine is made out of uh, crushed beetles and that's what gives the red formula so if it's a vegan palette it does not contain carmine which means that it does have color dye which means that it's now considered a pressed pigment instead of a shadow it's a very interesting thing how the makeup works but some pressed shadows are harder to work with and you have to um, either use a concealer base or press really deep or like pat on the, the eyeshadow to build up coverage and depending on the color it can stain the skin so just i want to give you guys a heads up with that this does say that it is a, it does say it's a pressed shadow pigment so it does not say it's an eyeshadow palette it's a pigment palette so it means that this is not um fda approved technically but let's go ahead and like review this product so this is how the box itself looks and it has 24 makeup pigment palettes. It has 24 makeup pigment palettes inside. The shades contain a colorant not approved for the eye area and the US continent, which is what I said, and the shade number 4, 10, 13, 18, and 19. Now, the palette itself does retail for $15 and can be found only at Ulta or I'm sure Makeup Revolution website, which I will link both down below. And on the actual website, it looks like it got 134 reviews, raving it at four stars. And it says the perfect mix of 14 matte and 10 shimmer shadows to create everything from a natural daytime look all the way up to a full glam. The 24 versatile shades gives you everything you need to create your look no matter what time of year, whether you're looking for light shimmers, warm browns, rich golds, rusty oranges, dark smoky shades, or even a pop of color, this palette is for you by Sophie X. So like I said, um, I'm, if I'm butchering that name, I just want to apologize now. I'm very, very sorry. This is my first time venturing into Makeup Revolution, so I'm really excited. And the fact that this palette was only $15, like, that is phenomenal. That is literally phenomenal. And I do see that on here, it does have a vegan and cruelty-free symbol, which means that I was right when it has no carmite in this palette. That's why it's called Press Pigments, because no crushed beetles are used in making this palette. So thank you. Um, but let's go ahead and just dive right on into it. So this is how the palette itself looks. It has a nice, decent size mirror. And unfortunately, when I take this little color off, it does take out the shade names with this. So that is kind of a bummer because I do like eyeshadow palettes that have the names on them just because it makes it easier for me if I'm trying to do a tutorial. I can tell you guys, oh, I put this right here. But instead, it doesn't do that. And I tend to just, you know, not end up keeping these. I just end up throwing them away because it's don't really have use for me, but I will definitely say just by looking at this palette for starters, uh, I have a huge thing about I have this huge thing about mirrors, and this mirror is such a decent sized mirror. Like it is so huge. The packaging itself, even though it's fifteen dollars, does not feel cheap at all. It actually feels nice and like like sturdy. Like when I close it, it's like a nice decent sized package, and I really like how it looks aesthetically pleasing. And then when you look at the colors itself, I mean. Look at these colors. It definitely has some nice. Well, you know, let me go ahead and take this off. Look at these shadows. Definitely some gorgeous shadows we have going on there. So I'm definitely excited to try this out. Like I said, this will be a legit first impression. I've never tried anything out from them before. So hopefully, I really like it. And if not, then. It is what it is, no big deal. If you guys want to see my thoughts and opinions are on this, then definitely keep on watching. All right, so what to dive into, what to dive into. 
Well, I kind of have an idea of what I want to do, but unfortunately the, sh the colors that I want to like do it with are all shimmer colors, but I like a good shimmer, so I really don't care. So I'm going to dive into this little color right here, and according to my little cheat sheet, it is called Ice Coffee. And I'm going to use this as my base for setting this look. I am using the Luxie 229 Taper Blending Brush, if anyone wants to know. I did get this in my BoxyCharm, um, Luxie box actually, and uh, I will say this is one of the things that I got in there that I was actually really excited about, and I really do love the product that I got, so. Thanks, Boxy. Mm. This really isn't leaving down any shade at all. It's not leaving down any sort of uh, color at all. All right, so what I'm gonna go into next is uh, this little guy right here, and that is called Strawberry Sweets. It's very soft matte, I would definitely say, very soft matte. But, it's blending out. It is definitely blending out. Alright, that's pretty. Um, and the next color I'm going to go into is this little guy right there, and that is called Danger. Danger! <laughs> you know what's so crazy is that like, I have big eyes, like generally I have big eyes, but I don't have a lot of like lid space between the eyebrow. That's kind of annoying and I don't know if you can tell right here, but my eyebrows need to be waxed. There's definitely, um, surprisingly enough, there's not that much fallout in the actual pan. And there's really not much fallout on my face, which is surprising. I and mean, Normally I don't always do my face first, but this time I decided to, though I look like really pale right now. But I decided to do my face first and to really give this a go. And I'm not really having any fall on my face, which is actually really surprising. So I'm going to go into this little guy right here next. And that is Mixed Berries. Okay. Hmm. I wonder if this is better if I packed it on with my finger. I have an idea. Well, for starters, I'm going to uh, just wipe that away. But I'm going to do a cut crease. Maybe put the shimmers on that way. Maybe that might help it out. Just so you know, I'm, I'm not a pro at cut crease by any means. So uh, we're just gonna pretend that I am. Well, you know what they say, Patrick's makes perfect. Well, you know, that's as good as it's gonna get in the cut crease. Um, definitely, definitely, definitely has some practice to go there, but at least I laid it down. So since I wanna do a shimmer look, I figured it might be easier just to use my fingers for these shimmers and uh, see how well it turns out. So like I said, I'm going back in that mixed berry color and I'm gonna start to pat it on. It's a little patchy. I don't necessarily want to say it's because of the shadow. It could be just because I'm not the best at uh, cut creases, but it's a little patchy, I'm noticing. I'm using a brush and my finger, and I'm just having a really, really hard time uh, getting it to pop the way that I want to. But, I mean, because on my finger, like it looks, it looks like it would be a really pretty shade, but it's a shimmer, so honestly, it could just be a topper, truth be told. If that's the case, well, then we're just gonna make the best do of what we got. All right, that's pretty. So for the next color that I'm going into will be this patrol color right there. Hmm. 
Damn, that, that, that has like virtually no color to it. Like it looks pretty in the pan, but like it's not really performing the way I want it to on my eye. Um, I mean, it's just gonna be my transitioning shade. It is what it is at this point. Nope, did not really do much. Oh well. So the next color we're gonna go into is this color right here and it's called Pine Tree. That looks pretty. Hopefully it shows up. There we go. I know I'm doing like a funky eye look, but I wanted to play around with colors because I'm always doing like a nude look on my like days off. And I just like to have fun. The next color I'm gonna go into is called Grow Old. It's this little gold color right there. Why you gotta grow old, I don't know. Ooh, that's a really pretty gold. That's really pretty. I like that. All right, so now that it's on, I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of my eyes and I will be right back. All right, so now that the eyes are done, I'm just gonna add one little final touch. I'm gonna go back into this palette and I'm gonna dig into this first color right here called Penguin. And just gonna add it into the corner of my eye as well as highlight the inner brow bone. Very, very soft. Soft white. Alright guys, so this is it for the final look. Um, it was very, very easy, surprisingly enough. And even though I didn't go bold and add on lashes, add on a uh, shadow underneath my eyes, I still think it looks really pretty. Uh, surprisingly enough, the shadows may not have been as pigmented as I wanted them to be, but they still performed beautifully. These to me are more of a soft shimmer than a like pow in your face type of shimmer. And I think it's easier to have, I think it's easier to have soft shimmers in that way because this is more like your everyday palette. Like it truly is like an everyday palette. Like when I go to work, I don't wanna have something that's like boom, boom, boom right in your face. I'd rather have really something soft and more, I mean this is not natural looking, but something more like natural looking. You know what I'm saying? Like this to me is a very, very soft eyeshadow look. Even though it has like bold hints to it, to me it's so soft. Like it's not like in your face. But I think it's gorgeous. The shadows blended out very, very easily. To me, they were pigmented. Even though they were pressed palettes, I did have to press in like the shimmers. I did have to press it in a little harder than normal. Like I used my finger. It didn't really work too well with my finger, so I used the brush. I even did a fix plus on it, try to spray, try to help it out. And I feel like it did give it that little extra like push, but it was just a very, very soft go about it. Um, the, only thing I, the only trouble I did have was the color Patrol. And it was like this blue color right here. That color to me was a little underwhelming. I don't think it performed the best. And it kind of like looking at it right here, it kind of just blended into that purple. It truly did just blend into that purple. But you know what it is what it is. The green is freaking gorgeous. The gold is gorgeous. The purple is gorgeous. And I love how the big this mirror is. Like it's just fantastic. But overall, I really do like how these shadows performed. They're very easy to build up and they're very blendable. So the fact that this is only $15 and you get 24 shades, that's fantastic. Like that to me is truly fantastic. You can't beat that. Like you really can't beat that with like this really nice packaging, this really nice big mirror and like it's heavy and it turned out gorgeous. Like I definitely want to go back to Ulta and try out other palettes in the Makeup Revolution. Maybe try out some foundations and some other products from them because this to me was gorgeous. I loved it and this is something that I'd probably be using all the time for everyday looks. That is it for today's video, guys. If you guys like this video, please make sure you guys give it a cheeky thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I do post videos weekly. And as always, guys, I love you and I thank you for all the love and support. And I will see you guys in the very next video. Bye.